One dislocation segment can rotate around another which has left the slip plane and is immobile. As long as the direction of the rotating dislocation is towards the pinning point, its Burgers vector does not change during rotation. Dislocation begins in edge orientation normal to its Burgers vector. After 90 degrees rotation, it becomes parallel to its slip vector and is thus a screw dislocation. At 180 degrees, it is again in edge orientation and at 270 degrees, again in screw orientation. At 360 degrees, it has produced unit slip over the entire slip plane. Back in its original edge configuration, it is ready to rotate again. Repeated rotation of the dislocation has the same effect as a series of dislocations sweeping over the slip plane. Rotation about a point is therefore known as a single-ended source for generation of dislocations. During rotation, the dislocation assumes different atomic configurations, although its Burgers vector remains the same. The initial edge dislocation, with its direction upwards and its Burgers vector pointing to the right, has its extra half plane above the slip plane, as indicated by the row of red atoms. As the dislocation rotates into directions at 45 degrees to its Burgers vector, it takes on the poorly defined mixed configuration. At 180 degrees, it is an edge orientation with its direction downwards, but its original Burgers vector. With its direction assigned upwards, as for the original edge, the Burgers vector is reversed. This explains why the extra half plane is below the slip plane, as shown by the row of blue atoms. It also explains why the dislocation produces the same slip while gliding counter to the first direction. With further rotation, the dislocation passes through mixed and screw configurations before returning to its original edge configuration. During the first quarter rotation, the initial extra half plane is converted into an overhanging step across half of the left face producing the configuration of a left-hand screw dislocation. During the second quarter rotation, the step spreads across the left face and gives rise to the extra half plane below the slip plane. This is converted after a further quarter into an upward-facing step across half the right side. This right-hand screw configuration has a Burgers vector opposite to the 90-degree screw dislocation when the directions are assigned to the right. On further rotation, the step extends across the right face, giving rise to the extra half plane above the slip plane and to the original edge dislocation.